Hi everyone, I'm just doing a bit of an update on the bullet journal that I'd bought whilst I was in Thailand. So I'm currently in Laos. I'm just going to explain, I don't know if you can hear the noise. The, we're in a guest house next to a, like a big family's house and I think they're having some kind of party with some really bad karaoke. So if you can hear that in the background, I do apologise. And same as my last video, I'm doing this literally just on my phone, so there's no way for me to edit anything, so I apologise in advance. So if you saw the last video, I didn't bring my loose term with me and I, I kind of wish I had a done. I've been looking everywhere for a dotted book and I didn't find one, so this is what I've turned into my travel bullet journal instead. And I'll just show you how I've been using it. So first thing I have got is I found a stationery shop in Thailand with loads of little stickers so they've all different shapes so I've really enjoyed using those. At uh, the back of the bullet journal I've been doing a course that I found online called I think it's the Neuropsychology of Self-Discipline so there's a few notes in the back from this. So yeah I've been using it as a notebook as well and then I've also got which I like to have in my normal bullet journal is like a reading list and a watch list. So I've got some series that I want to watch that we're watching while we're here. Jane the Virgin, we found a few things that have been recommended to us. So, um, And also a learning list of things that I want to learn a little bit about whilst I'm here. So the front of the bullet journal is I've washed, I got a little separate weekly book. So I've washed that into the front and then this is just a little card somebody gave us. So I thought it might be nice taped in the front. So this is just the weeks, so anything that's important transport wise or if I've got anything going on that day I'll put it on a big sticker and then I've got bits to do on the side. So that's been working really well. I've been a lot more calm about knowing what's coming up and thinking oh my god I've got to book a train or you know things like that. I know what's going on so I've really enjoyed using that. I'm sort of only three weeks in at the moment but there's plenty of space in there for the rest of the trip. And then the front of it, I've shown you already, but in the last video, but obviously it was blank. So it's a really cute notebook. So it's a notebook and then it's got the monthly view at the front. So obviously we went away in March. So I've only started filling in from March. So I put all the goals on the right hand side. And then again, any important things. So checking that our rent's been paid, birthdays, things like that have gone in here. And then every week what I'll do is have a look at this and transfer anything across into that weekly list. We're actually in April now so I've filled in April's as well. I've changed my goals up a little bit. I've put them in these. You'll see this follows on in a minute because I've done some goal tracking. So I did actually fail big style last month. I mean I'm traveling so I'm not even going to be hard on myself but there are some things I wanted to do like learn. I'm trying to learn Spanish for when we go to South America. So a lot of this as you can see it's I've put the delayed symbol and put it for next month. So I've only done five this month, so I want to do a course in Excel. I, again, I know it sounds like I should be just chilling out and travelling, but when you sat here in an evening, you can't always afford to go out drinking every night. So you do sometimes find yourself in hotel rooms or hostels with not a lot to do. So I wanted to look at doing an Excel course. Again, this is the language thing. I wanted to reach 30% in Duolingo. See if there's anything I can do to make a little bit of money whilst we're away. So, I don't know, maybe doing surveys or something. Um, I've got an app on my phone which is HTML. So I wanted to see if I can complete that. And then to find a clear direction in life. Because I have absolutely no idea what I want to do when I get back. So when we get back we've got no jobs, no nothing. So it's a blank canvas. And then I've just got some things that I want to learn. Um, things I want to watch and books I want to read. So again... You have. I've got a 24-hour train in two days, so I'm sure I'll get through some of these. So I'm reading The Air Affair, uh, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, and everybody's been going on about 13 Reasons Why. I believe they're starting a series, so I want to read that before the series, well, before I watch the series. Uh, yep, so I've filled in a few bits for the future, but not too much. And for those five goals I'll come back to my habit tracker in a second for the five goals I've broken them down using a little bit of the book that I've been reading the neuropsychology of success and um, so I've put what the goal is and then some steps and then I've broken them down 
and put them sort of in the order that I should do them. Anything that's highlighted with black around it is more important. I need to concentrate on those because they're sort of time sensitive. And then I've put roughly how long each task should take me and a due date on it. So hopefully I'll get these things done by the end of April. So I've done that for getting a clear direction. Uh, learning the HTML and I'm practicing on a friend doing a, a website for a friend. So again, broken it all down into steps. This makes me super happy because it's really nice colours and it just appeals to me. I think I'll get more done when it's like this. So the same repeated for that. Duolingo, there's not a lot you can do. I've just put little mini steps in. So 10%, 15, I'm on 6% at the moment. Then the app tells you how, how proficient you are in the language. So I've just broken down that into little milestones. And then the Excel. So that's it, I've left myself a bit of space to do other bits of writing in there. But for this month that's all my goal stuff. And then the last thing I'm using it for is habit tracking. So again, it's something I've not been very good whilst I'm away is sticking to habits. And they are just as important as being at home. So things like meditation, maybe even more so because if you get quite anxious when you don't know what's going on, you're travelling, you don't know what's around the corner, it can be really stressful. And there's a few times that I've properly lost the plot and screech like a mad woman but so things like um i don't know if any if you heard of this app it's prana breath so it's about concentrating on your breath and controlling it and again it's supposed to help you be a little bit calmer um meditation again it's something that will help you stay a little bit calmer and i exercise this because i've got double vision so it's to try and stop that um i wanted to do something different in my old bullet journal i really enjoyed having the Christmas tracker so I had little Christmas lights and the aim of the game was I tried to see how many of the lights I could light up during the day. I did overface myself I had like 20 habits a day which was quite disappointing when you've only got one light lit out the whole day because you've only done one thing so I wanted to do something where I started slowly I just started on one thing and then I built it up so that's the idea of this apparently it's already a thing I didn't know somebody had posted does anybody else use the mandala to track and it's something that boho berry's done mine's completely different i've discovered i think that's more like a mood tracker so at the habits if you'll see in the middle there's the seven green um main petals these are so week one i only wanted to do one thing so it's pretty hard to fail so i just wanted to do prana breath every day it takes seven minutes on this app that i've got and i completed that for the first week the second week is these two I, I know which ones correspond to which but probably with your looking you wouldn't it's this green bit and the other bit around it so the next week I've got two things so I've got prana breath and then I introduce my next thing so every week I'm introducing one more thing so it's not too much so this week at the moment I've it's these three so I'm prana breath exercises for my eyes and meditation so just do those three things every day this is where I only did my exercises once and I was meant to do it twice. And to be fair, we were on, again, a, like a 28-hour journey, so it was really difficult. So I'm not giving myself a hard time for that. But yeah, I found this really useful. Next week, obviously, I'll start on the, the four, so I'll introduce another thing. And I just think it's a good way of gradually getting into a habit rather than saying you've got 25 billion things to do today. So I found that really useful as well. I am still tracking the rest of my journey, but more in a personal diary rather than this. This is just for things that I want to get organised and things that I still want to do while I'm away because you've got a lot of time to spare. I mean, you're not working, you're out in the day doing stuff, but then, like I said, at night sometimes you're not always, so I found it really useful. So I'll keep you updated with how I get on with it and if I find any more stationery, we go to Japan in like a month. So I cannot wait. I'll probably try and do a little bit of a vlog and take you around the stationery shops because I'm sure there's going to be so many cute things. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.